Win the incredible Steigercraft, Evinrude, Lorance Grand Prize Boat Package, and more in the Fisherman's 2018 Dream Boat Fishing Challenge. Get the details at thefisherman.com. Slowly but surely, that Jersey Shore Fall Striper Run is getting underway. I'm Jim Hutchinson with the New Jersey Delaware Bay edition of the Fisherman Magazine. And last week's report, pretty big because we said they are here. Had some good fish reported last week. So I went into this weekend and I posted on Facebook and I said, uh, so show me the goods. Are you catching any? And where are you catching them? Well, not too many people told me their spots, but I did have a bunch of people sharing their fish catches with me. And north to south, it looks pretty good. Started off with Jimmy Peters and his buddy. They had eeled up a few on Saturday up north, so that's good to see that there are a few fish biting by day. Also at night as well, Dustin Strell, Captain Dustin, was eeling at night also up north. So live eels and spot starting to get it done, especially as all those offshore wind conditions we've had, the northwest and the southwest and the due west, pushing some of that bait out the inlets. So it's definitely time to start putting the liveies down and that's good to hear. Fresh Bunker also starting to get it done as well. Lauren Heppelwhite, Circle Hook and Bunker on a Northern Fin Chasers charter just the other day. We also heard from uh, Dan Cowan, whose buddy Mark Ryder had a 45 incher on a live bunker. So yes, like we said last week, it's time to start looking for those bunker schools. They're popping up here and there. The troll bite is really kind of slow to get started. Some of the Sharpies in Monmouth County on that historic Jersey Shore structure are finding them at first light on the spoons, but we are starting to find more folks trolling inside the fence. And while there's not a lot of fish just uh, as of this point right now, it's bound to happen sometime. You gotta do, you gotta work. You gotta do some work on them. Of course, it's a little easier maybe up on the Raritan. I don't know, Steve German mojoed his first 40. Not an easy fish there. 40 pounder mojo uh, on the fall run this week. So again, it always seems to start up in Monmouth County. The Raritan Bay out along the beaches of Monmouth County down near Belmar. We checked in with Bob Matthews from Fisherman's Den who said, Winter flounder are starting to bite in Shark River already. So you know that water temperature is starting to drop a little bit. Said the crab business has been brisk. Folks picking up crabs. The jetty jocks are doing a number on TOG at the jetties. And that's what we're finding out up and down the coast from Monmouth through Ocean, Atlantic, and Cape May County as well. Bob also said the Belmar fleet has been catching bluefish, sea bass, and porgies. And again, stripers to 35 pounds on the troll. Now along the central Jersey beaches, few first fish are being reported. Here's a good one. Found out about this weekend. Andrew DeFranco, he caught a 41.8 pounder over the weekend on an artificial. Check that one in at the real seat in Brielle. So there are a couple of fish in that area of the, uh, the Manasquan. Not for me, but somebody's doing it. Got to put your time in. Amber here, she plugged up the first keeper that old Grumpy has seen this fall. Somewhere along the seaside park stretch, I guess, SP Minnow did the trick for Amber. Meanwhile, Burlington's Matt Mitrick, he put his time in. He puts his time in every year on those beaches of LBI during the LBI Striper Derby. He got the second weigh-in of this 64th annual Long Beach Island Surf Fishing Classic over the weekend, but I've got to ask who's next. Only a couple of stripers and uh, one, two bluefish caught. It's got to start kicking into gear. And again, you got to put your time in. One person that puts in a lot of time inside on the back bay is Chris Madison. Uh, down in Atlantic County. So we're finding out a lot of fish in the back bay. Chris has been throwing a tactical angler's poppers and one quarter ounce zooms, those plastics, 25 to 28 inch fish. And he says they're fat footballs. So whether you're wading out along the sod banks, or you've still got your center console in the water, or maybe you've got a kayak like Robert Smith. He was out back on Monday morning in chilly conditions in South Jersey. The old tube and worm trick for this uh, good striper. We are hearing of quite a few striped bass, especially in the Atlantic and Cape May County area in the back, feeding a flood tide along those sod banks. In fact, some of the fish that uh, I've been hearing about are, uh, you see the sea lice. So they're definitely fresh fish. They're on the migratory run and perhaps they're coming in the back bay. Maybe it's a little bit warmer, but there's plenty of bait back there. So that's a good sign for you surf casters in Cape May County. Stick it out, those fish are there. It's just a matter of when they start moving down the beach. And while Amber and Andrew and Matt and Chris got on them by shore, I was out in the Bayhead Wash, uh, Bayhead up in Northern Ocean County, uh, Thursday, Friday, and was getting a bunch of bonita. 
It was terrific. Some other casters like Rob here. Awesome bonita action this season. And I'll tell you, it's a, it's a terrific tasting fish. The ticket is to bleed them as soon as you catch them. Bleed them, let them bleed out. Put them on a cooler, in a cooler filled with ice, right? Ice them down immediately. When you get them home and you fillet them, it cuts like butter. Those fillets, those little loins, you're going to have to cut right down the middle to take the pin bones out from where they are along the spine and then flash freeze them 15 to 20 minutes. Cut them nice and thin after that just like sashimi. Serve them with ginger and wasabi and soy sauce, spicy mayo. They're also terrific on the grill as well. So there were a bunch of bonita in Northern Ocean County, throughout Monmouth County up until last week with those west winds. Hopefully you find them down in Atlantic, Southern Ocean County into Cape May County as well. Some of those birds you see pushing bait along the front beaches. They could be on bones, they could be on false albacore. But pay attention because they could also be on stripers as well. As you're packing the plug bag, take those thin metals, those deadly dicks, and those tsunami slim waves for those speedsters. But also swap out that treble because those thin baits, if the stripers are on rainfish and, and rain baits, you might get an opportunity there as well. But it's also the time to start packing those swimming plugs, those SP minnows, and also the top waters as well. And of course, I mentioned that stiff offshore wind pattern that we had last week. Those west, northwest, southwest winds we've had are expected to give way to north, northeast by Friday. In fact, the uh, long-range NOAA marine forecast looking ahead towards Saturday and Sunday, not very pleasant. Saturday, 20, 30, 35 knot winds, heavy seas. It's a NOAA marine forecast, folks, so keep your eye on that weather forecast to see what it looks like when we finally do get that weekend ahead. I, I dare even bank on anything the weather guys say, right? I guess the bottom line is this, keep an eye on the weather, but get out now, early and often as you can for those black sea bass, the for hire sector, the party boats, the charter boats, throughout New Jersey, down into Delaware, they're sailing for all those black sea bass, and there's a variety catch as well. North Jersey, you find more uh, porgies with the sea bass mix. Central South Jersey into Delaware, you're also getting some trigger fish as well, and some black fish. Uh, when the boats have been able to sail, of course. I'm also hearing of quite a few uh, weak fish offshore. One charter uh, or one commercial captain I know said the dolphins are feeding on acres and acres of weak fish offshore. In fact, Jamie Padalon, they were out on a trip on tagged fish this week, and in addition to those sea bass and porgies, also got into some nice weak fish as well. So like I said, slowly but surely, it's starting to take off. Keep an eye on the weather center forecast this week. Keep an eye on the weather forecast. Keep an eye on the weather and make sure you're armed and ready to go. If you can hit the beach this week with those northeast, northeast winds when they first kick it into, into gear on Friday, might be a good opportunity and make sure you bring those bucktails if it gets heavy. Have a great weekend. Catch them up. We'll see you again next week where a report from London right here at thefisherman.com.